So what do you think in general of the power of movies or media to change attitudes or to educate people in one way or another? Culture in general has lost its deeper meaning. You, I mean, you have folklore groups, and in, in Japan you have restaurants where you sit down. Every, everything has its place and its way, but um, it is not linked anymore to this globalized world of internet and uh, cell phones and, and working uh, uh, over hours and stuff like that. So, um, how do we define ourselves? Because we crave for sense and, and meaning in our lives. And uh, the, the remaining power is story. Uh, uh, through stories we relive or, or we live things from our inner and deeper beings um, to uh, we reenact things to um, to fill our lives with meaning and maybe to change that way. That's what stories can create. I don't think they have a lot of social power. Though. Yeah, I mean, you, you walk to the cinema this week and you uh, you get mad about <coughs> um, uh, like Ratatouille or whatever, and the next week it's another film. That's how the media work media works. But um, along the way, if there's a constant stream of positive messages, of reaffirming messages, uh, it has a reaffirmative quality. Yeah, and and that's. That's how we live. Yeah, story is the way we live, and so it's Leroy is a very, very, very small part of that big stream of story that uh, is uh, that hits mankind every day. It is part of an ongoing process. Now we start to loosen up and start to get back to our good selves, and I hope that that this process is now beginning and setting in, and that the new generation comes where we can talk about it. So we don't have to keep quiet, you know. i give you one last example. Um, uh, a guy I talked to on a film festival, he said that he was sitting at, the sub at a subway station in Berlin and a black man was sitting next to him early in the morning at five something in the morning. And the black man asked him if, in German, uh, if, he, if it would mind him if he smoked. And in any other case, he would have directly said, no, I'm, please don't smoke because it's forbidden in subway stations and at five in the morning, you know, it can be irritating. But because he was black, he was more careful, you know, and he was not sure what to say. He didn't want to offend him because he's black. And so he thought, well, maybe I, I tell him about my feelings. And he said, well, if you were white, you know, I would have said no, but now I'm hesitating. I don't want to be Racist and stuff like that. And they <laughs> talked about it. And the way they talked about it were, was um, um, that was the easy, that was the loosening up. And if my film can help creating that um, by way of saying, okay, we all make mistakes, we're all little racist, yeah, in, in any respect. Um, everybody has prejudice about everybody. But if you talk, you think, well, it's not that big. And that's what people should do. And if you don't talk, you start beating each other up. You need to realize that the other person has a soul and has feelings and has a life like you. And you can only experience that when you're talking. That's why we need stories, because to be informed, what can happen to people? Yeah? And so we see it can happen to everybody, everywhere, all the time.